The fact that they made an entire comic with about this is- that's incredible. Wow. Honestly, I shed a tear, I laughed, I cried. 10 out of 10. It's time for the race, fire, and airy cat. So come and join us, let's race, fire! I'm looking at my subreddit here. If you are new around these parts or you don't normally catch the Friday streams, the beginning of the stream, generally the first 45 an hour we spend looking at the Reddit, and it's a chance for me to talk to the chat. It's kind of like a little, it's like my little hangout time during the week because, you know, the rest of the time we're playing games, so. All right, so the top post that we have this week, 119 upvotes. Sonic is my favorite character in Mario Maker 2. Gotta love him. Let's take a look at this. What? Okay. I'm a little confused here. I don't know... Is this like a genuine thing? Did someone post, or so, did someone pick up the toad plush and put it in here? Or is this how it's, no, they can't be selling it like this. That would, there'd be a lawsuit involved, right? Someone had to have moved it, there's no way. I mean, I can kind of, look, I can kind of see it. I can see, like, the boomer employee who doesn't know make that mistake. But there's no, okay, there's no way. I would be down for a Sonic and Toad collab, you know, maybe Toad appears in the next Sonic game. Mario and Sonic, well, I mean, they already have the Olympic one, so never mind, we don't need that, but... Look, all I'm saying is put Toad in Sonic, okay? That's all I want. Alright, moving on here, what do we have? The Lisa Monet appreciation thread. Oh, oh this. This is beautiful. <laughs> Dude. I am- I am glad that the Lisa Monaire was, like, something that stuck around. I- I was afraid it was gonna be one of those one-offs where, like, okay, we all laugh about it and then it goes away, but this one- this is high-quality stuff, okay? I'm glad that this one decided to stick around. We need more sophistication in this community, and I'm glad that- that Lisa here is bringing it to us. Thank you, Lisa. Very cool. This is a good- wait, what- wait, what is this? A clip of the Lisa Monaire? Above yup. Yup and yup. Wait. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> now we got to the Lisa Monaire. <laughs> now, obviously, the Lisa Monaire. Very fine piece of art. <laughs> Did I do <laughs> Now, the Lisa Monaire does not deserve to be in the ZF range. You gotta put it in the top tier, it's dude. It's too high price of art. Yes, yes. The very nice. Very ZF nice ZF indeed. Range. Wait, are you gonna put- is it the Lisa only one that's Monet in the S plus? Now on the average, <laughs> Lisa Monet wants to be superior. Lisa Monet Ah, is very the nice. The supreme of the supreme. <laughs> Lisa Monet is the highest quality <laughs> of art. Which Dude. Which future generations will look up to for inspiration. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Dude, the thing that's craziest about this is it like- you got- you got the background from my stream and you're using a green screen and you put glasses on and you're in the bottom left. It's like... I can't tell the difference. Like, if I look at the camera and you look in the bottom right and the bottom left, there's no difference, right? Same person. Very nice. I looked forward in time and I saw 4,605,000 futures. And in how many of them is it winnable? All of them. Dude, you know what? I'm gonna be real with you guys for a minute. I've been a little stressed out lately. The move has been crazy. It's been very expensive. In fact, I got hit with some major expenses that I didn't even expect, right? And so, we originally started the winnable thing as like a joke, but I, I found myself when I'm trying to handle this move and I'm going up and down the stairs carrying boxes, my feet are like on fire. I just keep telling myself, I'm like, it's winnable, it's winnable. You know, it's, it's a mindset, a lifestyle. You gotta keep it- you gotta keep it together sometimes. And this is a good way to do it. Uh, you can sleep now. Realistic Grindel, the finale. Wait. Is this like a gr- wait. Wait, <laughs> what is happening here, dude? <laughs> the axe store? This is like a full comic. <laughs> School for the bald. Dude, it was Grindel. Grindel put it in the locker. Wait, are these wigs? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is- this is actually such high quality. 
The fact that they made an entire comic with about this is- that's incredible. Wow. Honestly, I shed a tear, I laughed, I cried. 10 out of 10. Good stuff. Like, this art style is actually crazy. The shading and everything... Actually insane. This is- this is nutty. See, we do have some very talented people in the community, though, like... There's also this Shredfire person who does, like... They've been doing cover art of, like, a lot of the games, which is really, really pretty cool. Uh, actually, speaking of that, here we go. This is- there's another one here that I didn't get to look at, um, because we didn't do it last week, but... Paper Raise Fire, the Gremlin King fan art. Whoa, dude. Look- I mean, look at this! This is- this is quality stuff. See, we have the- the stylized text here. With the- with the- the themed Raise Fire Mario guy. Which is hype. Got the, the logo and everything. Yeah, the person that does this does really insane work. Like, look, I'll show you. If I if I go into paint right now, look, I, I can't draw a circle. Okay, maybe I can draw a circle. Never mind. I'm kind of cracked at the drawing. Very good. Where are my ketchup packets? I can't sleep without them. Raise fire. We found these in your bed frame. Movers. <laughs> Let me tell this story again. Because you have to know the story in order to understand this. It goes way back to not this apartment or the one before it, but two apartments ago. I was moving into my my now old or my now past apartment and I hired movers. And so they came in, they were gonna help with the furniture and they're taking apart the bed frame and they're like, hey, uh, hey man, yeah, I just want to know, like, uh, why is there ketchup in the baseboard and the headboard of your bed frame? And it's because my friends had, they had taken the ketchup packets from the five pound box that was sent to me and they hid them around in different places and one of the places they put them was in the bed frame. Okay, so fast forward a bit. We're now in the, uh, the, the apartment that I used to be right before I moved here. And the movers come again, like last week. And this time, it's a different group of guys. It's a different company altogether. They're taking apart the baseboard the headboard that you know they're just taking apart the bed frame so they can move it and again i'm in the other room doing something they come over to me they're like hey uh yeah we're taking apart the bed frame can you tell me why there's ketchup in the headboard like, every time man i don't know i can't i can't get rid of the ketchup it's just it, it follows me around i i the ketchup is eternal in fact i'm pretty sure that the ketchup is like here somewhere like, I- I don't have the box anymore, but I'm sure some of it made its way in the move, right? Like, if I- if I check enough drawers, one will probably show up somewhere. <laughs> I don't think I can get rid of that stuff, man. Alright, moving- moving on, moving on. I don't want to get caught up on the mover stories, although I do have moving stories for days, because... This is an ongoing ordeal, and it has been crazy. Uh, oh, look at this! Super Raise Fire Odyssey fan art by Shudfire. This one is crazy, dude. The stylized shud, or, or, you know, raise fire here, here, and in the main image. And then you've got the, like, fox ears and the tail on the hat, which is really cool. The Goombas? Wait, that Goomba's wearing glasses? Dude, that's sick. Mount Shud? What does this say? New Shud City Festival. They, they replaced all the words with, with uh, Shud, which is, which is kind of sick as well. This guy- I don't know how this person does one, like, every week. But they put one out every week, it seems like, for the past, like, month or two, and it's always insane. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Second emote I made. I did I did see this. I did see that someone made this one. <laughs> I kinda like this one, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's just like, yep. I don't even remember- what did I even make that face? What is that even from? <laughs> I don't know when I did that. Wait, where- where did I do that? I can't- I can't even find it on here. Oh. We might go... <laughs> to a great art museum and Sorry, sorry, I saw the clip, I had to click on it again, dude. ...in the world of Mario Maker. Waiting for Reyes to finish his move. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, I'm back, mostly. I- I'm back, maybe I'm still a little stressed out. We're still- we're still unpacking. But I am... I am... getting up and running again. I just want it to be known, okay? Alright, moving on, what do we have here? Dang it, sink! Raves hits the start stream button, his sink. 
I'm gonna stop you right there. Thank- dude, thank god I'm not dealing with that anymore. Uh, dude. Okay, so... In case you did- you were not here for this story, a few weeks ago, about a week before I actually moved into this place, I was doing one of my final streams at my old apartment. And I hit the going live button, and generally, my- my kind of ritual is I hit- start streaming, I turn on the music, I go and I run to the bathroom and I get water, do anything I need to do before the stream. So I go into the kitchen, and the whole kitchen is just flooded with water. And I'm trying to figure out where does this come from, because I wasn't running the dishwasher or anything. As it turns out, the sink underneath, or the pipe underneath my kitchen sink had become detached, and it was just, there was water going everywhere. Uh, so the resolution to this is I'm, I'm out of the unit, right? I've moved out of the unit entirely now. But it was still broken when I left. They didn't fix it. So, I, you know, I don't know. It's not my problem anymore. Raise fire and his cellmate in their new prison cell. Guys, I swear it's not, it's not prison. I mean, it's still kind of empty in here. Look, it is not, I promise it's not prison. I need you to understand that, that this is, I live here. This is a home. It's great. I, I swear it's not a prison cell. The guards are definitely not looking at me. They're telling me to keep my mouth shut. Guys, it's not a prison, okay? That's all I'm saying. I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Yeah, I mean, look, guys. I've never gotten Pink S Plus before. So I don't understand this, me. I can't be afraid of something for the second time. Whenever it's never happened the first time. Okay? It doesn't exist. Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, this, this edit right here, though. Oh, God. Oh, no, I didn't mean to click on this guy. Not this guy again, dude. That- that Grindle is- that Grindle freaks me out. Dude, this is actually terrifying. Okay, so... The Grohl is re is related probably closely to the Spindle. He's probably more closely related to the Spindle than anything else. Um, he is in the- the 2D Mario games for the most part. Like, he's in New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. But you only see the front of him. You don't ever see the side view. And he is a long lad, as we can see here. I've always wondered, how big really is the Grohl? It's true, see, he could be long, we don't get to know. See, you only get to see the side view. See, exactly, dude! You don't get to know! You don't get to know about the Grohl! Well, now, here you go! We have confirmation! Raise fire leg reveal. Go dude! Are you guys- Did you only post this because the- the person is bald? It's a bald mannequin? <laughs> Why is there no neck? Where is the neck, dude? Why does it actually look like him? Hey, you guys know me. I'm rocking the fashion here. I haven't- I haven't busted out this look yet on stream because you guys aren't ready for it yet. I was still working on- on the fit here. You guys weren't supposed to see this, okay? Raise fire on pizza toppings. Chat when raise fire says diced tomatoes are his favorite pizza topping. Chat when raise fire says meatballs are his favorite pizza topping. Look, what is wrong with a little diced tomatoes on the pizza, man? My favorite pizza toppings are probably sausage, meatballs, diced tomatoes. Onions are pretty good, too. Dude, I, I'm a big fan of this. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there. This is a controversial take. Pepperonis on pizza? Mid. Mid. They're not that good. I'd rather get something else most of the time. They, pepperonis? Overhyped. I'm dropping it. Mic drop. Okay, moving on. What do we have here? This is true content. Shush Magazine. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, finally, dude. Shud Magazine. A magazine for sophisticated readers. <laughs> Language Ian. See? That's me. Ugenbald. <laughs> dude, finally, uh, a bit of fine reading for everyone around here. Bold. Okay, what do we have here? Updated Grindles for SMBX2. Wait, you animated them? This is actually kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, there's so many of them. You made so many versions. I like the- I like the eyebrow raise on these guys, though. This is super well done. Even- you even made some tiny ones. I like this guy, too. Dude, what? There's combat? Dude, look at this! What the heck? This is sick! 
It like, it's like fully integrated into the game, dude. This is, this is like crazy good quality, man. This is the type of stuff that I love to see on the subreddit, man. The creativity is insane. Some things were never supposed to happen. I fear no man, but that thing... Dude, okay, I remember, it's been a couple weeks, but someone posted this on the subreddit, and this is the most cursed thing I think I've ever seen. Out of all the, the bald edits, it doesn't even look, like, it looks all wrinkly up there. Like, ah, that's weird, dude. I don't like it. No one, absolutely no one, r slash raise fire. It is winnable. True. It is always winnable. It do be always winnable, though. What? What did you do? Oh, God. This is terrifying. <laughs> this is actually kind of scary. Okay, all right. I think we're done with the Reddit for today. Uh, good job on the memes this week, guys. Good stuff. I was a big fan of the variety. I think my favorite thing about doing these recaps is that there's there's always different stuff. There's memes, there's like video edits, there's like artwork. It's just, I don't know, it's a lot of fun for me, so. 